Hi guys, my name is Felipe. Welcome to Turbo Thursday. In this segment, we're going to be talking about the difference between diverter valves and blow-off valves, and also the difference between math-based tuning and speed density. You're not gonna wanna miss this one. So most, if not all, cars that are turbocharged from the factory are gonna come with a diverter valve, right? The manufacturer doesn't want you to hear any weird noises under the hood because they're gonna think maybe you're gonna take your car back to the dealer and say there's something wrong. For car enthusiasts, we wanna be able to hear those cool turbo sounds. So basically what I'm gonna start off with is the difference between a diverter valve and a blow-off valve. Diverter valve just simply means that when you close the throttle body, right, after you were making boost, that air has to go somewhere. So the valve opens and then that air is going to recirculate back into either the intake or to try to respool the turbocharger somehow. When we replace the diverter valve with a blow-off valve and you give it gas and you release, you're gonna hear that nice loud blow-off sound, right? But the car might buckle because now that air is not being recirculated into the intake. So in some cars it works, and some it doesn't. It just it, it just depends on the tuning strategy from the manufacturer. So now I'm going to talk about the difference between math and speed density tuning, right? And cars from the factory can come with one or the other. So when a car is tuned from the factory with a math, right, it's going to always use a diverter valve, right? It's never gonna be atmospheric and all that air is always being accounted for by the airflow meter like I just explained, right? But if it's map based tuning, which is which means that it's only accounting for the air that's coming in to the intake manifold. It doesn't matter if you put a aftermarket uh, blow off valve on because it's not going to recirculate that air and be counting for it. So in some cars, like some BMWs, it's okay to put a blow off valve and it works just fine. When a tuner takes your car from math based to speed density, two things are needed. The tuner is going to need to know the air temperature coming in after the intercooler, that's crucial, and how much pressure is coming into the intake manifold, usually by a MAP sensor. When you combine those two, now the car is tuned, is tuned via speed density. So for the speed density, the volumetric efficiency table is gonna be you know, your RPM over your load, and that's gonna be a nice 3D table, and it just depends on what RPM you're in, how much load, like how much boost, and every single one of those areas is gonna to need to be populated. So it's a lot more work for a tuner to make you know, a speed density map as it is for, you know, to start with one that's already math based. So I hope that shed some light into the difference between speed density and math for you guys. Another thing that I wanted to give you guys was a tip. So my goal for you guys is to learn something new in all these videos. Stuff that I've been compiling for years, almost 20 years of doing this, right? So I would have a lot of cars towed in to the shop because an intercooler pipe came off on a Sunday night. You're you know, going home and boom, all of a sudden the pipe came off, right? Cars towed in because customer says he tries to start the car and it just dies and it just doesn't stay running. Next time that happens to you, if it's a math-based car, you just disconnect the, um, the airflow meter like I'm showing you right here. If you disconnect it, the computer has no choice but to go to speed density now. So it's just going to read what's on the map sensor now and there's another table that it can use and the car all of a sudden drives. You might not have boost, it might not be very fast, but it'll get you home. All right, next up, there's a hybrid valves on some vehicles where um, we can trick the car into seeing some of the air coming back and then some of the air will uh, be released via atmosphere like this forged valve. Now, um, the air would come in under pressure here and be released here if we block this guy off. But if I put it like this on a hybrid mode, what's gonna happen is the air will come in here and when the piston opens, it's gonna split into two ways, giving you that cool sound and giving some of that air back in for the airflow meter to uh, see that air that it accounted for. This is one of the most popular valves of all time. This is the HKS valve. This happens to be a black edition, but it is called a pull type valve. So it doesn't have a piston that you push in there, right? What it does is there's a piston that goes in here this way and then the vacuum pulls the piston this way and then it will release the pressure that came from the bottom and release here. Now these fins is what gives the valve that very distinct sound. It's that, that really loud blow off valve sound and they're, you know, they're known for that sound so any car enthusiast will know oh, that car's got an HKS valve. So one of my favorites, it's really good, it's very reliable, 
um, the piston can never get stuck open because the more boost pressure goes in it, the more it shuts the valve. So it works really, really well. They're one of the only ones that do the pull type valve like this. So definitely a really nice valve. This is a traditional valve. from. It's very, very loud. It gives you more of that swoosh sound like, you know, and uh, basically it's just your regular piston valve. So pressure comes in here, uh, piston opens when there's vacuum, because this is going to the intake manifold. And then when the air releases, it makes that loud blow up valve sound. So um, when you hear a car with a loud swooshing sound, then you know it's gonna have one of these or a Gretti or a tile or something like that. All right. Um, last topic that I wanted to talk about are some of the latest technology. Uh, cars that have the blow-off valve, excuse me, diverter valve from the factory built into the turbocharger. Basically, this is a stock diverter valve replacement by Forge. And the reason people want to upgrade this is because um, usually um, the factory ones are plastic. They're very flimsy. They don't hold boost very well. So this one, what it does is it, it basically, it's all metal all aluminum composition. When you have a tune, it's gonna hold the boost better and it's just more reliable. It's gonna recirc the air just like the one from the factory. So there's no need for tuning or anything like that. So, stock, uh, so this would be a stock diverter valve replacement. Now, for some cars, they also offer one that is going to vent to atmosphere like this one. So when that piston does open, the air gets released here. It makes a loud sound. And, uh, and you'll have some, you know, some cool sounds coming out, which is what we wanted. So they'll know, or your professional will know which one you can use for your specific vehicle. And uh, it is definitely something look, uh, uh, worth looking into because they do make a difference when you're tuning the car and the way it sounds. It just makes your car like a lot of fun to drive. So definitely recommend it. All right, so this is gonna be it for us for Turbo Thursday. My name is Felipe. We really appreciate you watching and we'll see you guys next week.